Hey guys, what's up? Tim Queen here and today I want to talk about affiliate marketing. The ugly truth. Now you might have heard of affiliate marketing from a number of fake gurus who promise you that this is the easiest way to make money on the internet. You can easily make 10 to 100k like per month and it's super easy, no risk whatsoever, cost you nothing and it's basically a free money printing machine. And I'm here to tell you that's not the case. It's simply not true. So let me tell you about my own affiliate marketing journey. I make somewhere between $500 to $1,500 per month with affiliate revenue recurring. Some months are better, sometimes you get more sales, some months are slower, then you just get like the baseline. But in order to get there, this took me a couple of years to build up to that point. There is a lot of things you should be aware of when you want to get into this. In order for you to make any affiliate sales, you need to have traffic. Now traffic you could buy, you could run some ads, but ads are really, really expensive. Gone are the days where you could just set up an ad and send it to an affiliate offer and you spending like a dollar per click and then you're getting like an average earnings per click of like four dollars back. That's not how it works. You probably have to spend, let's say 100 to 200 dollars to make a sale. And there is not a lot of affiliate offers that have that kind of return on investment. Even worse, because of the law of probabilities, those sales could happen at any time. You might have to burn through $2,000 to make your first sale. It's just how it is. Like, you can't use paid advertisement if you want to have a reliable income with affiliate marketing. It's not worth it. What can you do? You could use social media. Social media is free, but the organic reach is crippled, especially if you are promoting affiliate offers. It's really, really difficult your post will basically die right away if you're starting to be in any way promotional and people are not reacting well to your post initial performance. So unless you're actually learning how to write really good copy and to provide a ton of value and then you can basically include like a stealth promotion of your affiliate product inside of your post, you're not going to get any traction. You will, the post will die quickly. You get like a little bit of views, maybe one or two clicks. But as we learned, you might need like a 200 clicks or something for you to make a purchase. So that's not going to work. What else can you do? So I found the most reliable way for affiliate marketing is content marketing. Two types, long form content, long articles on your own website that are ranking on Google and long form videos that you are uploading on YouTube. Both platforms allow you to share affiliate links for videos on YouTube, it's in the video description and you can also leave it in the comment or pinned comment below. In your article, you can embed a link on anywhere in your article. You can also share them in your sidebar. You could have a resources section where you're linking to your favorite tools. Same goes for YouTube. You could have a, you could include a link to your most popular resources and you can put all of your affiliate links there if, if they offer a program. For those two methods, it's really important that you own a niche. As an example, I'm writing about LinkedIn and YouTube. Those are two topics within the broader marketing and social media space, content creation and everything in between. And that means people coming to my articles, I can tell a lot about them based on that they're interested in reading one of those two topics. And that helps me to actually find relevant affiliate products or services that I can promote in my articles. As an example, I have one article where I'm telling people how to design better YouTube thumbnails so they're getting more clicks for their videos. Now, one of the sections is about how can you find a good designer? And in the context of finding a good designer, I have an affiliate link to fiverr.com where I show people here are some good designers or some ways how we can find someone who can design them for you for a reasonably fair price. This gets a lot more clicks than if you promote anything random in between. If I was 
putting like an ad for toothpaste inside, I wouldn't make any money on the thumbnails article. It has to be relevant to the context that I'm promoting it. So that means not all affiliate programs will be able to promote on every video or every article. So you have to have like a broad range of products and services that you can promote. This is all good and well, but there is a lot of things that can go wrong. For example, you can't really trust any of the companies who are offering affiliate offers. I have personally experienced this firsthand that one affiliate program is offering incredible good terms. They might offer you something like between 30 and 60% commission. And then from one day to another, some affiliate companies, they might just terminate the affiliate program altogether. You might have had 30% monthly recurring revenue on their subscription for life. And then they just go ahead and cancel the entire program. Or you might have someone who pays you 50% lifetime commission on recurring revenue. And then they might just come out the next day and say, oh, we are just cutting it down to 10% of the first year's revenue or something like this. Or you might get some affiliate companies who had a reasonably payout amounts. They might say, hey, we're paying you out every time you accumulate like $10 in um, revenue. And then they might just say, oh, we've decided to withhold the money until you get 500 US dollar. And what I'm trying to say is, of course, you could take some legal action, but do you really want to invest the time and the money and the resources to sue a company where you make a couple of hundred dollars per month? In most cases, I feel I don't want to waste my time. So what I have done instead, I have backup plans. If one affiliate company like there's usually, there's usually like 10 different tools who can get the job done. So if one company is trying to screw me over, I'm just going to rewrite all of my content, eliminating the examples that I have used to promote them. And I'm just going to kick them out and I'm going to rewrite it and show you how you can do the same thing in a different tool. If the affiliate company wants to screw me over, then I'm just going to take away all the traffic this way. They see it's, it's really not worth it trying to do this kind of games. And uh, I still get my good commission because now I've switched to a different product. But it's like more difficult when you are doing videos. It's not really that you can edit a YouTube video and switch out your tutorial for a certain app with a tutorial for another app. So you just have to create more videos. So but in those cases, what I've done, I'm rewriting my product, my video description. I might say, here's the affiliate link. However, since the creation of the video, I found another tool that you can use and I might link some additional resources to example tutorials and uh, articles where I might review the tool and to the affiliate link. So I've, at least I'm getting some of the traffic to the new product. So that's my experience with affiliate marketing. My recommendation is create your own products. This way you don't have to deal with on any of this kind of corporate nonsense where some person is getting brought in, they're looking at the numbers. Oh, the pandemic has diminished our returns. Let's see how we can squeeze out some more money. Let's see if we just take away some of the money from the people who make us more money. Let's see if we make more money and then like, just cut down the affiliate program. So if, if you don't want to deal with this kind of nonsense, like just create your own products or if some affiliate is screwing you over, consider just recreating the same product and selling it as your own on your website because you already own the traffic. This is the most important thing. This is why those affiliate programs really have to be really careful what they're doing. Because if I own, let's say, 100,000 page views per month and I could direct some of that to this tool, I can also take it away and keep it for myself, sell my own stuff or I sell someone else's product. They, can't, they have no control over this because I created this content. If you have any experience with affiliate marketing, please let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to hear what your challenges have been with affiliate marketing. Do you still do it? Have you been screwed over? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.